Thank you, Jenna. Amazing work down there. Joining us now is a former fighting Irish star who's a starting linebacker with the Los Angeles Chargers. Drew Tranquil, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Hi, how are you guys doing? We are good. It is good to see you. It's been a few years since you've worn that gold helmet. What do you miss most about your time here at Notre Dame? I miss the teammates. I miss the fans. Uh, I miss game days. Everything about that place is so special. Um, I, I was bummed I couldn't make it back to the spring game. I got two little rascals running around that are keeping me busy out here in Cali. Uh, but uh, so excited for what this team is going to look like this next year and, and hoping our bye week falls on a home game so I can get back there to Irish Stadium. And, Drew, you obviously were such a successful athlete, but most may not remember how good of a student you were here at Notre Dame. I believe mechanical engineering was your major. So how did you manage the academic workload with your football workload here at the university? Yeah, looking back, I was kind of crazy for doing that. Uh, I, my dad was an engineer, and I guess I just wanted to walk in his footsteps. But we had such a good support staff. I remember Adam Sargent and uh, everybody in academic services my my freshman year helping me figure out how to get under, get my feet underneath me, and uh, just had an amazing department. Uh, Professor Seelinger, so many others uh, that just did an incredible job of mentoring me and helping me and working with me. Uh, you know, class scheduling conflicts, you name it, uh, you know, the Notre Dame faculty was there to help. Um, and, and then I think maybe one of the biggest things was I just had an incredible group of guys in Siegfried Hall. Got to shout out my old dorm. Uh, we had so many mechanical engineers actually in my dorm, and there were many, many late nights of doing problem sets. But those guys and gals definitely helped me get through. Amazing. Hard work, well worth it. Speaking of hard work, you've witnessed the best and worst of NFL football in your first three years, haven't you? Uh, looking at these past three years, uh, how do you think it's changed you? It's been difficult, uh, but I'm so thankful, honestly, for my time at Notre Dame and having gone through the injuries there uh, and just all the setbacks, the ups and the downs uh, really prepared me, you know, for that second year in the NFL when my expectations for myself were high. Uh, you know, our personnel at the Chargers had high expectations for me and you know, my season was cut short there in the first game. Uh, but Notre Dame prepared me honestly so well for that. And I'm, I'm really thankful for those five years that I had because when I encountered that, you know, a couple of years back, I was able to, to handle it and take it on. Yeah, how would you sum up the three years in a whole? And what are you looking forward to most about this Chargers team this year? Well, I think we, we have an amazing quarterback and we've done an, a, an amazing job in free agency uh, you know, acquiring some really good players. And uh, I think we've got a lot of draft capital coming up here this weekend. So I'm just excited. It was disappointing last year not to make the playoffs. We didn't play well enough on defense. Uh, didn't give our offense, you know, a good enough chance uh, to win. Um, and so, you know, defensively, we got to step it up this year. And we know that. Um, and I think we've got a lot of guys that are bought into that and, uh, you know, want to go win a championship. And, Drew, I know you were hoping that that bye week lines up really nicely with a game here in South Bend. And I'm not sure if you've had the opportunity to meet Marcus Freeman, but I know you keep track of this program. So what would be your defensive game plan for game number one this September in Columbus? It's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first I'll, I'll just say a few words uh, about Coach Freeman. So him and I – interacted actually quite a bit back in 2013 when I was coming out as a high school senior. Uh, he was a linebacker coach at Purdue, um, which is where I originally committed before decommitting and going to Notre Dame. But uh, just an amazing person, uh, a guy of integrity. And uh, I reached out to him when he got the head job at Notre Dame, not thinking, you know, he'd be able to get back with me. I thought he'd be bombarded, but um, he shot me a text right back and said, of course, I remember you, Drew, um, and, and just had some really nice things to say. And so it goes to goes to tell the type of person he is that he doesn't forget the players, doesn't forget those that he's interacted with. Um, and I appreciate that about him, and I think you can see that in the way the players appreciate him um, and the way he's able to do such a great job recruiting. In terms of Columbus, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't broken down the Buckeyes. It looks like they're able to sling the ball year after year, though. Um, and losing Kyle Hamilton back there, might be a little tough, but uh, I don't know. I might play some cover eight. 
Um, I might uh, try and get five defenders to the strong side and definitely put a put a roof over the coverage um, and don't let those guys get <laughs> loose. It seems like they throw for 500 yards a game. So I yes. uh, got to put a roof over to the coverage. Well, Drew, thank you so much. I know you said you have two rascals keeping you busy uh, that you probably have to get into bed. So thanks for making the time for Notre Dame Day. We wish you all the best in this upcoming season. Go Irish. God bless you guys. Thank you. Let's go back to Jack Nolan now.